I, I really started coaching back in 1992 doing basketball camps. Um, but my uh, official coaching start was 1999 in Nacogdoches, Texas. We were there for a long one year before we moved on and, and eventually uh, found our way up to the Austin, Georgetown area. I'm David. I'm Ashley. And we're the Canfield family. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you need us to quiet them now? Okay, <laughs> I, I just want to make sure. <laughs> so we have six boys, um, and that's it. No more, six boys. Casey, uh, he is graduating this year. Brayden. Kai is a seventh grader. Tate. Jude is third grade. <laughs> and Finn. <laughs> As he likes to say, we're finished. So I'm a teacher coach and I'm at Georgetown High School. I'm the head boys basketball coach there, uh, finishing up my second year, 20 years in education. When I got the head coaching job here in Georgetown, our objective and what we really want to do is we want to put roots in our community. And so I didn't want to be in Leander and driving in, and that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted our kids in the neighborhoods, I want our kids. Uh, in the in the youth programs, I wanted them around and involved in what we did. Georgetown Square, it, I mean, it's a it's an old time feel, but we're right next to Austin. The beauty of of my job and coaching is I get to have an impact with my kids each and every day on the basketball court. Not only do I do I coach at the high school level, you know, last year I, I coached the Georgetown Dribblers all-star team and for, Kai, for the younger kid and, and, and having the opportunity for them to be here in a community that that we've quickly grown to love it's a great experience and and hope that uh, we'll be here for it for a long time so we're, we're looking in the georgetown area and looking at houses uh and and i'll tell you blair really made a huge difference in what we did because he was very, very quick to find out, hey, here's your needs. Because when you look at our family, we, we can't just go anywhere. Yeah, he did a lot of research on our part to get us the best interest rate, the best insurance. Um, he even did some work for us on that. He worked his tail off. Yeah, uh, the, the speed, uh, at, at how quickly he was able to turn things around I'd get uh, messages and emails during class and he'd say, hey, we need to get this, need to get this in. I'm like, oh my gosh, already? Not only did he make it work, but uh, he did it in such a, was it a, a 10 day turnaround? He definitely, I don't know what he did, he worked magic. Yes, it was. Rushed the entire process because we sold our house there before we found a house. Correct. So by the time we found this one, we were in a very short deadline. I mean, we've, we've always played games. And so we will all gather around. We have that table made to fit a large family. So we all fit there. And it's it's a blast having them all there. Um, not only just for games, but for dinners as well. Um, and I think that's something that's lost uh, a lot of times, but we'll, we'll make a point to have it to where everybody's supposed to be there. I think when we chose this house, we chose it with the intention of opening the door to the community. One of the things that I hope to have in this house, uh, being the basketball coach, is, is having the team over mm -hmm. and sharing experiences uh, through that, grilling burgers and hot dogs and, and watching the NCAA tournament. And that's something that we'll enjoy and have great memories with here. Like I, I love it when we have kids filling the living room, filling the kitchen. It's an open door policy. I Pretty mean, much. yeah, neighbors come in and, and I mean, we've got six, so I mean, why not have eight? Why not have 10, 12? I mean, what's the difference? Chaos is chaos and, and, and our house is going to have, <laughs> yeah, going to have that, okay. that, that feel. We're the Canfields. And we enjoyed working with the Wood Group of Fairway.